so this is problem data uh, so see this is the machine names and this is process and this is start time of machine and end time our goal is okay so we would like to use you know the start time is machine when we started design a table schema for the data to be used for data scientist query matrix process max average elapsed time and can be brought uh, each process okay and after that design etl using python load data into the table to how to optimize process and parcel so uh, i think this is look like a simple question so i will go for the sql uh, let me go through the with the sql okay so as you see it is same as activity a table machine id and process id and activity type and start time and our goal is here uh, to find the average processing time so if you see start time end time for machine 0 and process id 0 and process id 1 start time and end time so first what we will do we will find each process id level time difference start time and end time then we, we would take the average so how we will go this one start with the uh, select so what we need uh, machine id comma process id and then uh, we will use uh, case statement case when uh, activity equal to start start then we can use this time as a you know a start time as null and as start time similarly for end time also we use uh, if you see so here is end and here we will use end time so uh, if you see uh, let, let's run this code first and then we'll see how to work and then we will uh, solve the problem so let's run this one now this one code is running but is giving problem right so start time and then now when we have start time then it's coming now end time is null so what we need to do we need to use min for start time and max for end time this will be like this so when we use the aggregation function we should use group pi so I'll do the group by and we'll see the result. So group by start time end time same same. What is the problem? Right syntax process ID group by. So we should use group by. Now the code is running, but still. So here, if you see the result, we need process time machine ID. So we will do one more aggregation, which is. Uh, I say this is ref and then select machine ID and uh, we'll use here end time minus start time is process time end time minus start time and then we'll take average uh, so average would be like this so if we do use again aggregation function so we will use uh, do to find so we'll see the result and the column name is the process time we can use process time average end time and start time uh, so i think i forgot to use front class now if you see the uh, answer is almost same we just need to format you know so format is in my sql is round uh, up to three digits right so we can use three digit up to three digit uh, yeah so this answer is uh, accepted so yeah now this is accepted now i will look for a python solution in the, my next problem thank you for watching